Sicilian defense, open, pelican, and Svshnikov, Novosibirsk variation, 11.BD3. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered Black in the middle game. The end game was sloppy, but White got the better of it. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. The closed Sicilian tries for slower growth without a quick push to d4 and controls d5 with the knight. And c6 aids in maintaining control over the d4 and e5 squares. The e5 and d4 squares are under the control of nf3, which advances the knight toward the center. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. This is an equal trade. Recaptures. The e4 pawn is attacked as the knight moves toward the center on move nf6. And db5 threatens an unpleasant check on d6. d6 controls the e5 square and allows the c8 bishop to develop. bf4 develops the bishop toward the center and adds an attacker to the d6 pawn. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This is the only move that works. By pinning a knight, this increases pressure. A6 kicks the knight off of the active b5 square. Na3 retreats the attacked knight, it will look for a new square on c2 after white plays c2 c3 or c2 c4. b5 gains space on the queen side and threatens to fork the knights with b5 b4. bx f6 captures the knight, attacks the queen and prepares to place a knight on the d5 square. gx f6 captures the bishop, defends the e5 pawn and opens up the g-file. And d5 places the knight on a center square and attacks the pawn on f6. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. bd3 develops the bishop toward the center and supports the e4 pawn. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. Backs off. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is the last book move. This ignores an opportunity to move a piece to safety. It is a mistake. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. This provides a free pawn. It is incorrect. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is quite good. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to capture a knight that was threatening to win material. It is a mistake. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only move that works. It is brilliant. Recaptures. It is ideal. This puts pressure on the pinned bishop by adding an attacker, which is a powerful resource because a pinned piece cannot move away from the attack. This is the only good move. It is a great move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This takes down a weak bishop. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This pins a bishop to the king. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This misses a chance to strengthen a weak pawn's defense. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This threatens to kick a queen. It is good. This wins a pawn. This is the only move that works. This threatens to play checkmate. It is a great move. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable bishop. It is best. That pawn was free for the taking. This threatens to fork pieces. 
it is best. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This strikes a rival rook. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This exposes an attack on a bishop while also checking the king. It is best. This protects the bishop who was attacked. It is ideal. This misses a chance to protect a pawn that was being attacked. It is incorrect. This misses a better way to evade the check from the opposing knight. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a bishop while also checking the king. It is an inaccuracy. This both exposes a bishop attack and restrains the king. It is ideal. This removes a queen that put the king in check. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This defends a bishop that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the start of the end game and black is losing. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a knight. It is excellent. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. This is an equal trade. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. That's fine. It is good. This seizes a helpless pawn. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. It is quite good. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is quite good. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is quite good. That pawn was free for the taking. This threatens to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is excellent. This prevents the opponent from being able to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is best. This threatens to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is best. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. It is ideal. This moves away from the knight in shining armor. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It's compelled. A passed pawn is pushed by this. That's good. Placing a rook behind an opponent's passed pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This misses a chance to move the king out of the rear rank and activate it. It is incorrect. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is quite good. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White overpowered black in the middle game. The end game was sloppy, 
but White got the better of it. 